Every day there's something new on Amazon to be aware of. Today I'm going to show you some quick tips on how to improve your seller business profile. Uh, there's one in particular step that's brand new even for me and that is getting your business profile logo into the system. So my name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. So here is uh, what's called a storefront. This is to not be confused with your brand store. This is the, the actual seller storefront. Well, right there you can see I've loaded my new Age of Sage logo and it's super tiny, it's hard to make out, but every little bit counts. On the back end of Amazon, if you go to the drop down and you click that and you go to B2B and in here you go to business profile. Now, if you haven't uh, gone to sign up for B2B, you will need to do that first. But if you go to the business profile, and I probably signed up for it like several years ago and never did anything with it, because it's, it's to be honest, it's not a very useful program. But this new UI and new section is helpful. So you can write your about your business profile section. Now this isn't a new section. This has been around for some time. It used to be in a different area. You can set your profile, your shipping policy, stuff like that. But I do recommend filling it out. So I'm currently writing it right here. This is gonna replace this text. I might even refresh this. Yep, you can see it just populated right there. So it takes about 10 minutes for this information to show up on the front end of Amazon. Uh, and, and if you're wondering how to get here, and, and some information about this. So if we go over to amazon.com um, and let's click on one of my items. So this is one of my Hocus Pocus items. Did well with this for Halloween. Uh, and on the right hand side, if you click on um, sold by, right under this buy box right there, it says Age of Sage. Well, that's how you bring up the seller storefront. Now, if we wanted to go to the brand store, we'd click on visit the Age of Sage store. And this is the brand store. You can set a vanity URL, so I can type in amazon.com slash Age of Sage. There are a lot of benefits to getting all of these things set up. If you don't have the setup and you go to one of my items, so let's go to my soaps here. And if I were to put my cursor on this, and if this wasn't set up, what would happen instead is it would go to Amazon search, I type in Age of Sage, and I would see competitor items. See how these people advertising on my stuff, uh, advertisement, all that stuff. And so that's what you would see if somebody doesn't fill out a brand store. So the seller store though, a little bit different. Uh, it, you know, Consumers definitely not trained to come here. However, there are some interesting things. So one of the things that kind of stood out to me here is, okay, so here's a seller logo, which is cool, but I had no idea that there was this thing called a profile logo. Now there's like no information on this. So what I ended up doing is I just, I just loaded a shot of my face just to see if it would show up somewhere. Uh, I, I'm not actually sure yet, to be honest, but in here it tells you what's supported and it's basically just looking for a nice square shot. So I may do an update or pin a comment later uh, once I figure out where this actually shows up. Then I get to featured image and I'm like, wait, what are these things? Like, where do these show up? So I click on that and it says 640 by 480. So I have my designer working on this right now. And we'll, we'll come in and upload that. So if we go back to the storefront, I'm, I'm not really sure, like, where's this going to appear? You know, maybe if I hit the ask a question button or something like that. Uh, no, that doesn't do anything. So I'm, I'm investigating that. We'll see what happens. But at the end of the day, there's a bunch of new information that they're asking for that I haven't seen before, like primary business activity, you're established. You can put your revenue, your employees, your DUNS number, your business address, your federal tax classification. You can hide or unhide some of this information. And if you're trying to do business with other businesses, other B2B, if you will, this might be needed information to supply because when you're trying to do business with other businesses, you have to request that information frequently. So if you're trying to grow B2B on Amazon, and obviously this isn't gonna be great for a commodity item or something you sell in the kitchen. However, it's an up and coming thing. Like even if sales are 1% B2B today, and if you think about it, B2B people typically buy on their personal profiles. Like even I buy gift cards for my own uh, employees through my business, uh, for, for my personal account, for my business and vice versa. Sometimes I'll ship a webcam to somebody and what do I do? I just go to my personal account. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons that businesses operate like that. And so they're kind of behind the scenes and invisible. So this information is kind of important to start paying attention to. You can also go down here and click on the certifications button and, and you can load certificates in here. So 
if you have a certificate, and this is this is also a new area. Uh, there, there, there are some things I may or may not agree with in terms of why somebody should have a certificate. And of course, my options will be limited since I'm, I'm not a part of one of those groups. But what I would say is if you are, you might as well take advantage of it. And so you can click here and add a certificate. Uh, and there's diversity ones, quality, federal representative, um, lots of different other type of SBA things and certain aspects of things you can load in here. So if you have one of those and you think it's important, I would definitely upload it. And the whole reason I even became aware of this is because I, for some reason, was signing up for the B2B program again, and they make you go through supplier gateway. And this is a section where you can load some information. You have to slam your driver's license and some tax docs in there. And then you take that certificate and then can load that into Amazon. And so it said, go to B2B business profile certificates. And in here, this is basically my way of justifying that I'm a small business. That was a certificate I think that we were trying to obtain so we could load that inside of Amazon. So that's how I became aware of it. I apologize for my voice. I'm, I'm very, very sick right now, but wanted to share the new discovery. Um, you may see my other video on how to load uh, the past certificates. Check that out next. We have lots of videos on catalog management and settings on a Seller Central account. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. We'll help you out.